Okay, so now we're going to link simple interest and compound interest together. So in the lead into compound interest, um, which is what you are more likely to come across in everyday stuff, uh, we're going to show you how to do a repeated simple interest step um, so that you can get the idea of how compound interest works. So if I invested $4,000 in a bank account at 6.5% and it compounds half yearly, it wants me to then calculate how much money I would have in the account after two years. So the first thing I need to do is go, okay, two years, but if it's compounding half yearly, that means every six months it's compounding. Six months, one year. One and a half years, two years. So that's four. So I've done up a table over here with the principal interest and total, and I've got four spots because it's, it's gonna take me four goes so that I can work out each lot of interest every time it compounds. Now my starting principal is 4,000. So I can put that in. So over here I can identify the principal as 4,000, the rate as 6.5, and the time as two, and the interest as unknown, you know, or an X. Okay, so all I have to do is my same calculations over and over again. So. I start with I equals PRT, so I'll just do the first one or two and then you can fill in the rest and see how it goes. So I've got 4,000 by 6.5 is my rate, time is 2 over 100. Now if I actually multiply all of that together, 0.65 um, by, oh it's not 2. That's really bad of me. Wow. The time, I didn't read properly, remember? It's compounding half yearly. So it's actually a half, so it's 0.5. So remember, time is always in years. So I can't write one year, you know. Um, it's 0 0.5 of a year. So my time here will be, let's actually rub those out, yeah? Rub that out and this one. So this will actually be 0.5. Ooh, lucky, lucky I caught that. <laughs> so half yearly. So now uh, when I work that one out, I end up with $130. So that's my interest. Next, I then work out my total amount. Well, uh, actually, sorry, I put my interest over here, 130. And then I work out my total amount. So that's gonna be the principal plus the interest. So that's 4,130, which will be 4,130. So over here, I can write my total as 4,130. Next step is, that's after six months, it's compounded. That's what I've got in the account now. So every six months, they work out the interest and they pay it. Then the next six months is worked on not just your original principal, like simple interest. So simple interest is normally just that principal amount, no matter how long it's the interest is worked just on that amount. Um, compound interest works like this, where the interest is then paid. So your new principal includes the interest you were paid at the six month mark when it compounded. Now we work out our next period. So we do the same thing. I equals PRT um, over 100 and it will be 4,130, so we use our new principal. It'll still be by 6.5 and by 0.5 because it still compounds every six months, over 100. And we end up with $134 and 2.25, which we can round to $134.23. And I just state two decimal places. Okay. Then I work out my total amount. Total amount is going to be the interest plus principal. Now remember, I'm not leaving much of a gap here because um, I'm a bit short on room, but you should definitely leave a line between each set of calculations so that it's clear um, to see. So total amount is going to be your 134 and 23 cents plus your 4,130. 
which is going to be 4,264 and 23. So I've obviously worked this out before. Um, you'll be just using your calculator. So the interest on this one was $134.23. So you can see that it's a little more because we actually had that 130 added on. So it's a little more than the one before. And then we end up with 4264 and 23. Now, the next two, um, I want you to kind of um, work through. So if you can pause the video, um, do the same lot of working out. So this one will transfer down to here, 4264 and 23 cents. And you're going to work out the interest and then the total amount after another six month, comp like another six month um, compounding period. Then you'll transfer that down to here and again, do the calculations. So pause now and do that and then I'll write the answers up. Okay, so you should have worked out along the way, let's change again, um, 138 and 59, again a bit, bit more of a jump this time, which gives you 4,402 and 82 cents. Then you would transfer that down, 02 and 82 cents, and you would end up with 143 and nine cents for your interest, and then four thousand five hundred and forty-five dollars and ninety-one cents. Okay, so if you were to work out the interest just on four thousand for two years at six point five percent, you would have less money at the end. So compound interest actually nets you more, or if you're borrowing money costs you more. So keep that in mind when you're looking at loans. So our next video is going to look at the compound interest uh, formula. So doing it this way um, will actually work. This is technically um, a way of working out compound interest. This is interest that is compounding. Um, however, as you can see, it would just take forever. Hence the reason I only did two of the calculations and you did the rest. Um, and that table could just go on. Like if it was compounding for like a, a 10 or 15 year investment period, you could be there for ages. So we do have a great formula, the compound interest formula that will help you do that. So just make sure that you're okay with this repeated um, pattern so that you understand the link between simple interest and compound interest.